Oh, I've had a whole load of questions about how to get your two inverters to run nicely with each other. Both solar inverters, both with battery systems. Well, here's my experience. I've tried a few different methods. You can see behind me there, that's the EcoFlow Stream Ultra X, and that is connected into the mains on its own circuit. Over here, I've got my SunSync inverter with these Dynes batteries, and hopefully in the background you can see currently the inverter here is feeding the house with 842 watts. Now, if I just jump over to my EcoFlow app, you can see that it is doing zero at the moment. So every inverter will be different. It will ramp up and down and be responsive in a different way. And so you won't know. There are some good things that you can do with different modes on EcoFlow. So you can, for example, oh, sorry, going on the wrong thing. So you could, for example, change this to semi-automated monitoring. And then I can just have the EcoFlow just putting in 300 watts all the time and then my SunSync inverter can ramp up and down depending on the load. Um, that is one way around it, but of course, as you can see from my system, the uh, SunSync inverter seems to be a lot more responsive and so picks up the slack and then the EcoFlow does anything that the SunSync can't do and you can set it to do a base load. It, there's many options there. Most of the time, it's not advisable to have these two different inverters and different battery systems fighting each other. And in theory, you could have this one discharging into the sun sink and kind of a, a loop spiral, death spiral almost, of it consuming and drawing more power than it needs and transferring energy from this battery down to those batteries there and then round and repeat and repeat and repeat. And fortunately, it doesn't seem to work that way, at least with the uh, monitor that I've got. I've got the Shelly Smart Meter here, and that it's the Pro 3EM. And although that's fairly responsive, the signals have to come from the three CT clamps up to the Shelly, up to Shelly Cloud, across to the EcoFlow Cloud, back down to the inverter. And the SunSync has just one CT uh, clamp hardwired into it no wireless lag anything else and so despite it being a nine kilowatt inverter rather than the 1200 watt inverter in the um, stream ultra x you would anticipate this to be a bit quicker because it doesn't have all that wireless lag and cloud stuff that's my experience of this specific system but each system will differ and so you will have to test for yourself hope that's